It has been said that our society, our nation, face crucial challenges in providing the power that we're going to need to support the things that we like to use, all of the everyday products that we like to use. But it's actually a much bigger problem than just satisfying our power needs. We need to think about what we're going to do for our future generations. We're going to have to develop new sources of power. They must be sustainable, they must be environmentally friendly. We are going to have to find ways of increasing the efficiency of energy generation technologies, the ones we use today, the new ones we're going to develop for tomorrow. We're going to have to find ways of storing that energy. We're going to have to find new ways of distributing it so that we can take it from where we generate it to the high use locations. We're also going to have to make sure that we secure the grid that's going to deliver that energy. It must be safe from attack. We will do this with existing technologies, we'll do it with the ones that we're going to develop in this building. On the campus we have about 100 faculty engaged in engineering research. Many of them are in this building and I think that between them we will come up with technology solutions that will actually solve the storage, production and delivery problems that we have for energy. However, to me that's not the whole story. From the, from the technological side, yes, we will be able to provide more power. But if that's all we do, we'll just consume it all. It's what we do. So the other part that's really equally important is we're going to have to change how we educate, how we bring other people together. We're going to have to bring the political, the social, the economic parts into the energy education for the future. I think that the Wisconsin Energy Institute is rising to that challenge as it does transcend traditional boundaries in science and engineering and it will embrace the technological, social, political uh, and economic issues that we will have to address. There's examples of this happening already. If we look back to some of the initial faculty that started this effort, they also helped actually strengthen the energy analysis and policy program. They started an undergraduate certificate in energy. I think these are some of the things that will help make sure that we can actually provide the energy that we want to use and secure it for our children and their generation. I look to Mike and the people that are going to be in this building to not only serve as an umbrella for the energy research that we do in our campus, but actually to coordinate what we do and then further strengthen our efforts in these areas. So I, Mike, I wish you every success and I look forward to being part of the Energy Institute and being, having been part of the College of Engineering. To all of those of you who are going to work in this building, our best wishes. Uh, we do look forward to the future collaborations and the future successes. So Mike, thank you. Thank you.